Hello and welcome back, Pom Pom Game. My name is Shantae. I am the mother of the three beautiful Pom Pom sisters. And on today's video, we will be doing a rod set on Kalia and Lonnie's hair. So right here is Kalia. She has type three curly, curly hair. Um, and then for Lonnie, she has type two wavy hair. So we're gonna begin by her hair already being shampooed and conditioned. We're going to detangle and begin using the Texture ID multi-styling um, foam to prep her hair for her curls. All products used in this video are by Texture ID. I recently did a review on these products as well on my type four kinky coily hair. So check that video out. I'll have a link for you guys to click on. So we are gonna begin by using the leave-in conditioner. We're gonna spray that in and then distribute it using the detangling brush. And then we're gonna use the Texture ID multi-styling foam. I love this foam by Texture ID. I use it on myself and it really brings that definition out on your curls. It definitely brought Kalia's definition out. So I know if it was wash and go season, this would definitely be a product that I will have to try on her wash day. But um, for now, we're just doing her rod set. So I'm using the blue flexi rods. Um, now when I wrap her hair around her curls, I I am kind of uniform with it. I kind of wrap it while wrapping it so it has a nice tight coil around the rod set. And then we're gonna close, fold, off, fold the ends on both sides to close it off and make sure it doesn't fall out her hair. Use flexi rods very often when doing the girl's hair. This is kind of a seasonal style for me. Um, so when I'm first starting out putting these rods in, I do kind of fumble through those first two or three until I finally get my rhythm and I get used to having to work with them. So if it looks like I'm fumbling, that, that's why. And so we're gonna go ahead and speed on past this because it's pretty self-explanatory when it comes to rod setting your hair. Um, I just like Kalia's curls to be a lot more coiled around the flexi rods because I feel like those curls will last a whole lot longer. We've completed the back of her head. Now we're gonna to move to the front. Now I want her to have a half up, half down hairstyle. So the front half of her hair, we're gonna spray again with the leave-in conditioner and we're gonna put it in a ponytail and add the flexi rods to the ends of the ponytail. Unpopular opinion, I hate styling edges. I just, it's just not a comfort zone for me. I don't know why I struggle with getting those nice little cute swoops that I be seeing all over Instagram and Facebook. I cannot style edges, but make sure you slay those edges the best that you can. Uh, I'll be using the Eco Style Gel for Kalia's edges, and then we're gonna go ahead and rod set her ponytail using the same blue rods and the multi-styling foam by Texture ID. For the amount of hair that you add to each flexi rod, don't use too much. So here you can see where I kind of had too much in my hand. I had to break that in half. And that's because it's gonna take a whole lot longer for that hair to dry if you have a lot of hair on that rod. And that can also cause a lot of frizz once you take down your flexi rods. You, sometimes too much hair can frizz up on that rod set and just won't look as nice and neat and uniform. So this is it, we are done adding the rods. Kalia will now sit under a hooded dryer for 45 minutes and I kind of offset the heat. Um, I'll go from medium heat, I never use high, and then I'll do the medium heat for about 10 minutes, go down to the low heat for about five minutes and then cool heat for two minutes and then I'll cycle back around until her 45 minutes are up. It is now time for Lonnie's type two wavy hair. Now I style hers just a little bit different than how I do Kalia's hair. Now this is after freshly washed and conditioned using the Texture ID. 
For Lonnie's rod set, I decided I want to do pigtail. So we're gonna take the leave-in conditioner by Texture ID to help detangle her wavy hair. And then we're going to take the Eco Styler Gel to lay down her hair. And I'm very, very heavy on gels with Lonnie's hair because her hair has so many flyaways. And we are going to brush that into her hair to help style her ponytails. I was kind of fearful with using the foam on Lonnie's hair. Not that it's a heavy product, but foam isn't a go-to product that I really use on her hair because it can weigh her hair down so much. But I found that using the Texture ID foam, it was not heavy at all. It was very lightweight. Her hair still came out very bouncy because I do love that about Lonnie's wavy hair and that once it gets its volume, it is just so bouncy and free flowing. So um, when I first applied the rod sets, I was trying to apply it the same way I did Kalia's and that's where I kind of twist it and wrap it at the same time as I'm wrapping it around the flexi rod. But I learned that hers, her hair just needed to lay across the rod set. So versus, you know, twirling it where you see I'm doing it at first, I kind of undo it and I realize, okay, no, it's better to just wrap it around versus trying to twist it and wrap it around. So this means that her curls are gonna come out more smooth and Kalia's curls are gonna come out with a more tight coil, like a corkscrew coil versus Lonnie's, which are kind of just wrapped around it and it's gonna be nice and smooth and she'll still have those nice, pretty, bouncy Shirley Temple curls. All right, so this is the next day. I made sure that the girl's hair was completely dry before I take out their um, flexi rods. And for taking out the flexi rods, it's pretty, pretty simple. It's just about the same method of wrapping it around. And I undo each end um, that is folded over to unloosen the flexi rod. And I slowly twirl it around. Now this is slow down, this is dramatized, but I slowly tw turn it, twirl it around to make her hair unravel. And you will see that Kalia's has that nice corkscrew curl. All right, so I'm gonna slow it down one more time just so you can see how I am unraveling the flexi rod from her hair. And this is gonna minimize on the frizz from her curls because I want these curls to at least last a week. And the same way I'm unraveling Kalia's is going to be the same method that I'm going to use to unravel Lonnie's. And once we completely take out all the flexi rods, I do not separate the curls. I leave the curls exactly how they are. So she'll be rocking this corkscrew kind of curl. And that's also gonna help with keeping the longevity of her curls. Once you start separating it, it can get very, very frizzy. And I don't want that problem right now, especially since I want this uh, hairstyle to last for the week. Now this is Lonnie with hers completely out. And as you can see her curls, although they still have that nice twist around them, they're not corkscrewed like Kalia's. And thank you guys for watching. Here's some photos of the girls during Halloween night. And this is a week after they have worn their curls. Don't forget to check out our other videos on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, please like and comment below some styles you would love the girls to rock.